Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Brian. Welcome back to the Duplicolor Garage. Now this is the garage where you've seen us restore, restyle, and protect a variety of vehicles using Duplicolor and VHT products, like the restoration of our 1979 Chevy El Camino, our Plymouth Satellite, International Harvester truck, and even this Jeep Wrangler. Now one thing in common with all of these vehicles is they've had four wheels. We really haven't dabbled too much with vehicles with two wheels, but that is about to change. We got ourselves a nice little beauty over here. Now this is a 1971 Honda CB350 motorcycle. Now this is an all original bike. We got it from someone who had it sitting in a garage for years and this is a perfect candidate to restore, restyle and protect using Dupacolor and VHT products. Now Sophia is back here unboxing a bunch of parts that we're gonna be putting on this bike. We have a lot in store. We're about to go over it. So why this particular bike? Why this Honda CB350? Well, a couple of things that we were looking for when we were looking for a bike. We wanted something that was complete, uh, more or less original, which this bike is, and we wanted something that ran and also affordability. Now this particular bike, they made millions of them. They were very, very popular in the 70s and 80s, and they're basically sitting around in people's garages today. So very easy to get to, get your hands on them, and a lot of parts available. Now the inspiration for this entire build is the Cafe Racer. Now that started back in the 60s, but when these more compact, affordable bikes came about in the 70s, people started to modify them, pull parts off of them, and uh, make them more agile and quicker, and their friends were racing them from cafe to cafe, and that's how the name came about. So uh, the beauty about Duplicolor products is they're very easy to use, and Sophia, she is a first time builder and pretty much think a first time painter, right? Yep, this will be my first build and also my first time using Duplicolor and BHD products. So I'm excited to learn and get started. All right, well, cool. So we have a great candidate here and uh, she'll be showing you exactly how the uh, first timer can use our products. And she'll also be covering uh, a lot of this build on our social pages. And a very cool thing about this bike when we're all finished is you might be able to have a chance to win it. Just like Brian said, you might have a chance to win it. We're actually gonna give this bike away. Um, you can visit our duplicolor.com to learn more and also check out our socials for more information. So uh, you ready to start getting your hands dirty? Let's with go. It. All right, well, let me grab the uh, stand. We'll get it up in the air and start taking it apart. Well, after a few hours of wrenching, the bike looks completely different. Pretty much a bare chassis, a few things more to go. A lot of parts sitting on the table and on the floor. Uh, what'd you think? It's your first time wrenching. Uh, it was tough, but I'll get better. No, you did, you did good, real good. So we do have an overall plan for the bike. Sophia, show them what we got. Yeah, so we are gonna do a majority of the bike in black with some bronze accents. Yeah, this this will look really good. Give it that, you know, cafe racer theme. So. Let's go over what products we're gonna use on these uh, projects here. Now, the theme of this restyle is going to be black and bronze. So we will be using an assortment of Duplicolor and VHT products to achieve this look. For the engine, we need something that'll hold up to the heat. So we will be using our Duplicolor Satin Black Engine Enamel. Speaking of heat, we will be using our VHT Flame Proof Flat Black on the exhaust pipes coming off the engine since that section will be the hottest portion of the exhaust. We will then be using our Duplicolor High Performance Wheel Paint Bronze for the muffler end of the exhaust system. Our wheel paint is rated up to 500 degrees and will be perfect for this application as well. Moving on to the wheels, we are going to use our Satin Black Wheel Paint on the outer rims, spokes, hubs, and brake hardware to make them all really stand out. The frame is obviously what ties the entire bike together and we want to make sure it stands out and is well protected. So for that, we will be using the VHT Roll Bar and Chassis Satin Black. We will also use it for many other small parts like the brackets and handlebars to tie it all together. Now to make sure we're sticking with our black and bronze theme of this build, 
We will again grab the can of Dupacolor Bronze wheel paint and coat the rear shocks and lower front forks. And then we're going to use our Dupacolor vinyl and fabric coating to give that old seat new life. And next, we will be using one of my favorite products, our VHC Black Wrinkle Paint, which will provide a unique finish on the airbox and ignition covers along with other small parts of the bike. The gas tank, fenders, upper forks, and headlight bucket are the focal point on any motorcycle. So to make these areas really pop, we'll be using our Dupacolor Perfect Match Universal Black as the base coat, and the top coat we'll be using our 1K High Gloss Clear. The high gloss in combination with many of the other satin finishes on this build will really set this bike off. So remember, all the projects that we're doing on this bike, you can do at home in your garage with Dupacolor and DHC products. Now from beginners all the way to people who are advanced, very, very easy to do. And don't forget, at the end of this build, we're giving away this bike. Make sure to follow along on our socials so that you guys know how to enter. Yep, exactly. If you want more information about Dupacolor products, visit Dupacolor.com.